Cebu has a buttload of unique and beautiful tourist spots to visit. If you're an avid viewer of this channel, then you already know this, as we've spent the last year and a half showing them to you. But you know what we haven't shown you? Where to stay so you can visit these spots. That's right, accommodation. One of the most important parts of any trip, the right accommodation can make or break that vacation you've been planning for so long. So right now, with this video, we're launching a new series here on We Wonder. We'll be visiting different accommodation around the island, staying for one night with the goal of showing you everything they have to offer as well as what you can expect to do and see in the area. If you have any areas you want us to stay in or specific hotels or resorts you want to see, let us know in the comments. We start this new adventure about an hour and a half south of Cebu City in the city of Naga. Naga is often passed up in favor of more famous destinations, but we heard a nice new hotel had recently opened up and thought this may be the best way for us to showcase what the area has to offer. Without further ado, let's head to our first hotel of this new series, Hotel Dulce in the city of Naga. All right, we just parked here, Hotel Dulce. I'm not sure if this is the right place to park. We're just down here. It all says like reserve parking and it's just cars. It doesn't look like there's a motorcycle spot, but I guess we can ask when we go in. So we're just gonna head in and uh, check in. Hopefully we can now. All right, we just checked in. We're headed up to the fifth floor. This was, there's already a story to tell. Oh, we got beach view. Beach view? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude, it's huge. It's huge. Holy yeah. crap. It's really good. I hope the bed's nice. Oh, it's a nice view. That is a nice, we have a balcony? Yeah. I didn't even know that. <sighs> All right, so trouble in paradise literally the second we got here. We're trying to check in and they're not finding the reservation. We booked through Agoda where we always book through. Agoda's ad for the room is through another company called Oyo, but apparently they're no longer affiliated with Oyo since March. So our booking we made went through Oyo, but they're not affiliated with Oyo, so they're not honoring it, which is crazy. So we're like, okay, what do we do? They told us we'd have to just book the room new. The original price. The original price. Well, actually the original price for this room is 4,800 pesos. It's actually on discount from them for 3600 but the price we thought we were getting from Agoda that we thought we had through Agoda was 2100 Yeah. So we paid 30 more dollars for this room than we expected, but it is what it is. We weren't going to turn around and go home, though we almost had to because they also have a sign that says it's for business purposes only right now. Normally it's for tourism or business, and you have to have a negative covid test mm. to even stay here and last minute i was just like hey we're vaccinated can we just show you our vaccination card and he like asked his manager and it somehow worked out so we paid more than we expected and uh we almost got turned away but we're here we're in the room looks awesome i'll show it to you in just a minute i think we're gonna actually order food first before we do a full room tour because we are both super hungry let's check it out now that we're in let's just try to enjoy <laughs> you like it here? yeah Let's have a lot of um, areas where I can take photos. <laughs> so Hotel Dulce actually says that they are Naga's first hotel. I'm pretty sure that there were other resorts and things here before this was built, because it wasn't built that long ago. But maybe this is the first hotel of like this kind, of your traditional like business type of hotel. Uh, it's really nice though, really, really nice. We're just so hungry, so we're gonna go check out the restaurant, grab some food, and then We'll give you the full room tour. Lucky for us, even though it was M-E-C-Q in Naga at the time, their restaurant was still open. Since we were in-house guests, we could eat inside, outside, or even have our food brought to our room. Over our 24 hours here, we would end up trying all three. The restaurant is honestly one of the best parts of Hotel Dulce. Every single thing we ordered during our stay was of a much higher quality than we're used to seeing during our travels. And the service was actually some of the best we had ever seen in the Philippines, period. All right, we ordered. It is definitely, I don't know, it's like mid-range, the price. It's more expensive than, you know, a lot of places that you'll go. But if we were in like Mall Wall, it's like those prices. It's like a touristy area prices. Even though this isn't a big tourist area, that's just kind of what it costs. But I heard the food here is good, so let's wait and see. Maybe it's worth the price. Those eggs are really good. Wow. 
everything tastes excellent. It doesn't look like so much, but like everything I've bitten so far is really good. How is it? It's good. It's There's good? cheese inside. There's cheese in it. What is it again? Hungarian sausage. Mmm. <laughs> All of this is great, mine and Izan's. But I gotta say, I think the best thing here so far has been actually the staff. They are unbelievably accommodating. This is incredibly great experience, really. Like, even if the food wasn't good, they're so accommodating. It's such a good experience just to eat here. So there's the hotel right out back. They have this walkway that goes straight into the beach. I actually didn't realize that we had beach access here. Just from looking from up here, I can see down there. It doesn't look like there's much in there, but just for like swimming around maybe, or going out on this thing. I'm not sure if that's from Hotel Dulce or the neighbor, but uh, either way, that could be something you might be interested in doing. So yeah, that's an option. All right, we just took a risk and clicked the R on the top of the elevator. We're hoping that means rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh shoot, it is, it is rooftop. Holy crap! Absolutely gorgeous view up here on the rooftop. You've got the mountains in the back and then the sea on the other side, like right in front of you. It's so gorgeous. And if my directions are correct, this should be facing the way for sunrise. So we'll check that out tomorrow morning. Should be a really beautiful spot for that. Without further ado, let me give you the room tour. Our room seemed to honestly hold nothing back. The king size bed, the massive TV, the balcony with possibly the best view in all of Naga, the fantastic shower in the restroom along with its his and hers sinks, even down to the huge amount of storage space. Everything felt like it was perfectly designed to be relaxing, making us basically not want to leave the room at all. However, there were some small things we noticed. First was the three dead cockroaches outside on the balcony. We never saw any live ones or even any dead ones in the actual room, but still. There were also just a few marks on the bathroom floor and the main floor in the room seemed a bit dusty, but it was nothing big. Overall, I would give the room a cleanliness rating of an eight out of 10, totally acceptable. The shower head is fantastic. The pressure is great and the temperature, it gets so hot. Like, I actually like really hot showers and this gets even hotter than what I would normally look for. This is, this is great. Isa, I want this shower in our, uh, in our future home. So they do actually have free Wi-Fi here, so I just ran a quick speed test just to see how it is. I'm getting a download of around 10, which is pretty okay for download, especially for a hotel with free Wi-Fi. And the upload speed's about four, None of that is amazing. I mean, it's it's good for something like this, but if I was gonna be staying here for a long time, I definitely would be dreading those uploads. They would be taking all night. For you, this might be completely acceptable. It's, it's pretty good for like, simple tasks. At least they have something, way better than nothing. After spending some time enjoying the view from the balcony, we wanted to head out to Mount Naupa, the most popular tourist spot in Naga. But this is how it turned out. It's legitimately full on flooding in parts of the world right now. You can watch that adventure in our next video, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. That being said, there are a few things you can do during your stay in Naga. One is, of course, Mount Naupa, but you can also drive just two minutes down the road from Hotel Dulce to visit the Naga City Boardwalk and this new park they're building, whenever it opens. There's actually a lot to do in Naga if you like trekking and exploring the mountains. If that sounds like you, then Naga may be worth dropping by. We just got back from a failed attempt to go to multiple places. <laughs> and man, look how beautiful it is here. In the restaurant at night, they turn everything on. It's so, so nice. We ordered our dinner to the room tonight. I got carbonara that looks freaking amazing. It smells so good. He's like got salmon, what? A la parrilla. A la parrilla. Let's see how it is. Even, hers looks really good too. I actually, I don't like seafood, but I do like salmon. It's the one exception and it looks, it looks good. It all looks good. We're just waiting on another fork because they accidentally didn't send one. So as soon as it gets here, 
I'm hyped. I'm not sure if it's the best carbonara I've had, but it's it's good enough to make me wonder if it is, you know? It's good. Is it good? Mmm, it's good. It's really mm. good? It's really good. Mmm, it's good. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Are you just faking for the camera? No, it's really good. It's oh. like um, the more it's in your mouth, the more the taste comes oh. out. Super nice view from this room. Even at night, you can see the locals out fishing with the flashlights. They do that at night. You'll see it pretty much anywhere if you stay by the ocean. As well as you can see like all the lights dotting the mountains on the other side. It almost looks like Christmas. Back home, you'll see all the lights like in the cities, like lighting up the houses around Christmas time. I don't know, the way they're like twinkling. It really reminds me of that. With that delicious in-room dinner, our super relaxing day came to a close. <laughs> but we did still have a few hours left in the morning before checkout, and we didn't plan to waste it. Isai and I both slept really well last night. The bed's not quite as comfortable as our bed back home, but it was definitely more than acceptable. It was good. You know, an eight out of 10, it was a pretty good sleep. We came up early this morning for the sunrise. Unfortunately, it's almost all being blocked by clouds. Great night of sleep and beautiful, beautiful morning. I imagine the sunrise here would be excellent if you didn't have so many clouds in the way. So we're down here getting breakfast this morning and weird thing that we noticed when they gave me the menu it was different this morning it's an updated menu but Isai still had the old menu and it had more on it things that we were actually interested in one the pumpkin soup that Isai actually wanted yesterday but couldn't find on the menu and amazingly this the updated stuff all seems to be more reasonably priced than the other stuff uh, I don't know it's just kind of weird so if you come here and you're not seeing something on the menu that you were kind of thinking you might want, maybe ask them. Maybe they do make it and your menu's just not the updated version. I don't know, kind of weird. The French toast, this looks really good. I need to take a picture. I don't get to eat things until Isai takes pictures. Half the time my food is cold. <laughs> Checkout is at 12 noon, and unfortunately, it came too quickly. Before we knew it, our 24 hours at Hotel Dulce was coming to an end. Our stay here really left us feeling happy and recharged, even though things didn't go exactly how we had planned it. I think Hotel Dulce is really best for a small staycation, a relaxing stop during an exciting trip, or a good base for someone who wants to experience what a truly local area in the Philippines feels like, as you won't find many foreign tourists here. After getting home, I did find a second listing on Agoda for Hotel Dulce that isn't affiliated with Oyo. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. If you want the same experience we had, we were in the King Suite. Let us know in the comments below where we should stay next and keep wondering.